हाय देयर दिस अंकित बैक अगेन विद अनदर वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन माय चैनल के इन टेक्नोलॉजी सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग आवर टाइम लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर टुडे सेशन एज यू नो दैट इन लास्ट वीडियो आई वाज वर्किंग ऑन कमेंट सेक्शन ऑफ आवर वेबसाइट बट ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ टाइम आई लेफ्ट सम पार्ट ऑफ इट सो वी विल कंटिन्यू द लेफ्ट पार्ट ऑफ कमेंट सेक्शन इन दिस वीडियो सो फॉलो मी स्टेप बाय स्टेप So, follow me from line number forty-seven, where I have written equal statement, and followed by double inverted comma, inside which I have written tr tag and td tag. And after td tag, there will be dot and a PHP variable name. And double double inverted comma and td tag will be closed. and there will be again opening of dd tag followed by the php variable comments that is concatenated with the td tag by a dot operator so closing of td tag now closing of tr tag okay this is it now after that I think uh, this echo statement should be after this curly braces. That is on line number four eighty four. So cut this line of codes and paste it on line number four eighty four. Okay. And now uh, there will be two. curly braces after uh, this echo statement so this is it uh this is for comment section and now i will write a code for the sub uh, comment submit section that is any users can write a content as comment or feedback and after submit after clicking on the submit comment he or she can uh, post a comment on our server so that other users can view their comments for this
follow me from line number 456 opening of dive tag inside which we will have uh, jumbo tron and container as a bootstrap class for the class attribute of a dive tag okay inside which uh, we will have uh, input so in form tag with the method called post inside which we will have input tag with type text name will be comments sorry c should be small and no placeholder is required so <coughs> sorry class will be form control okay now there will be button with the class attribute form control and name will be submit comment okay and the value will be same as the name attribute value that is submit comment that's it now form tag is closed and dive tag is closed now come to the php script for that for the same so for this uh, come to end and add the php script here mm, let me check first uh, 500 curly braces okay it is for 478 curly braces and the uh, opening tag of 509 dive closing dive tag is um, 465 okay after 465 i will write a php script for submitting the comments written by users if is set dollar underscore post in the variable having the value submit comment okay inside which i will have comment variable to assign the comments that will come from the name variable comments from the input tag and there will be another variable called fetch com okay wait a minute there is a problem i think okay not a big deal we will we will continue from line number 514 so fetch fetch admin id query admin id query that is equal to select user id from user select user id from user 
where email is equal to dollar email okay that's it for this query variable now we will fire this query variable and assign this result in the fetch admin query result php variable that is equal to my query query which accept the parameters as con variable and the query variable that is fetch fetch admin id query that's it moving to the next line if dollar fetch admin id query where is it admin id query result if it is true then we will have while loop with the condition containing row variables that assigns the uh, associative array coming from the database using fetch admin id query result okay hp variable and that row will be assigned into a user id variable using the php row variable having the index user id as a column name of table comments now i have actually fetched the user id of the that user that had written comment okay and now this time to post that comment with the name of user along with their user id so for this uh, we will have another php variable called insert comment query that is equal to in, uh, insert into comments here comments is name of table where we are going to insert our comments and the column of this table is user id and comments and the value will be sorry we will move to the next line for the value for the corresponding table table column and the value is user id that are going to pass from here this user id variable and i think uh, comment will be another variable and both should be enclosed inside a single inverted comma comments okay this comments so both the com uh, both the values that are going to be insert inside a column user id and comments should be enclosed inside a single inverted comma as i did right now now this is complete query put a semicolon to terminate this line now we will fire this query and store the boolean result inside a variable called insert comment query result written by mysql query accept a parameter con and insert comment query now if this returns true means if the php variable insert comment query result returns true then we will have a message called comments are successfully updated or comments are successfully inserted so if uh, 
insert command query result that returns true then we will have a message using php echo statement comments are successfully successfully inserted if it is not true then again we will have error message inside the is block followed by the echo statement given by the mysqli error method that accept the parameter as a connection variable this is it now save it control is save okay I will type I will see, see the output in the next video because time is already up to the mark so we can't continue this video so stay tuned with us thank you see you in the next video